Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Miss J and I am back with another monthly horoscope reading for the month of September. It's going to be for my strong Sagittarius. This is going to be for you. If your sun, moon, or rising is in Sagittarius, this message, this general reading is for you to listen to. So please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're a Sagittarius. Shout out to all my Sagittarius out there. And let's jump in and give you, and let's jump in this reading. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love, love, love doing these videos. It's just, it's been so crazy. So let's see what's going on. So let's see what's going on around Sagittarius in the month of September. What is going on for Sagittarius in the month of September? What is going on for Sagittarius in the month of September? I hope everybody's September is going relatively very well. So these are the cards that I'm pulling out for Sagittarius in September. So let's talk about finances because this is more so about finances. Let's talk about finances and then we'll talk about love and anything that we need to pay attention to. One, two, three. And I pulled um, six cards from this deck. That's going to be for the love question that I'm seeing. Okay, so the first card I got is Stand Your Ground, the Spiritual Union card, Transformation and the Universe. So standing your ground for what you believe in. Sagittarius, do not, I repeat, do not budge. You are worth more. You are worth more. Do not lower your prices. Do not downplay your gift. Do not downplay your ability at all. Period. Okay? You have so much to offer. Okay? The knowledge that you have. Everything that you've been through. You have way too much to offer. Sagittarius, do not budge. Okay? You said you wanted a promotion. You said you wanted a raise. Whatever you're asking for in regards to money, do not, do not waver. Do not say, okay, well, I'm just going to take this so the fighting can be over. Nope. Sagittarius, it is time for you guys to be like, no, I deserve this. I am worth more. My art costs money. Everything that I bring to the table, it costs. And... As much as I'm easygoing and I love to help people, I'm losing and I'm putting so much energy into people that are just getting freebies by me, that are just getting things half off. Like, I'm not a bargain. I deserve to be compensated for all that I do, period. I deserve a raise because I've been working here for years and I deserve to make the amount of money that Alexa is making or that Jessica is making. I deserve everything. Okay? <laughs> I do. So the card is guiding you the card is guiding you to stand your ground. And you know what Sagittarius? More than likely you're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you want. And it's funny cuz my father, he is a Sagittarius and right now he's fighting Right now, he's fighting for something that he feels belongs to him. Sagittarius, you stand your ground, okay? You put your foot down. This is what you want. And guess what? You got the spiritual union card. So that means they're going to give it to you. Because Sagittarius is not taking no for an answer. They will give it to you. But the moment you're like, okay, well, I'll just take that. Nope, fight. Nope. Because at this point, they need to work with you. Your job... Whoever this is, they need to work with you, okay? So that's definitely something that I'm seeing for Sagittarius. So 
some of you guys could be going through like a divorce settlement. Some of you guys are going to, some of you guys are going through lawsuits. Some of you guys want to raise promotion. Some of you guys, whatever the case may be, put your foot down, period. You could be buying a house and they say, okay, well, we couldn't find a house with a pool in the back, but we found this house. Don't settle. No, you want a house with a pool. I saved all this money. I want to get what I want. Because, guys, Sagittarius, they're very easygoing people. They're not fussy. Sagittarians are not fussy at all. It's just like, oh, it's all good. It's all, it's chill. That doesn't mean that you can walk all over them because that's beside, that's not the case. But Virgos are not fussy at all. They're not picky. They're not finicky. They're just very, just like, chill. So when they say hell no, it's a hell no, okay? When Virgos say, nah, you're going to run me my money, you're going to run them their money, period. So Sagittarius, keep your foot firmly on the ground, okay? You're not budging. This is not a drill. Don't budge because you deserve everything you're asking for. Because keep in mind, you have the credentials, you went to school, you did all of this shit to get paid less or to get less or to settle for less because it's too much fighting or no, 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 no. You guys need to fight till the end. And again, spiritual union talks about this is going to happen. Transformation card and the universe card comes through for you guys. So all honesty, you guys will get what you, you guys will get what you're asking for. What's been on your brain, feeling like you're not going to get it, feeling like you have to settle for something. I don't feel like you guys are settling. I feel like you guys are going to get exactly what you want. I feel like whoever you're, um, th whoever you're disputing with, they're going to finally meet you in the middle. I do see that for Sagittarius in the month of September. Wow. That's amazing. So what is going on? In love life. So what's going on in love life for Sagittarius? Will of Fortune. Six of Wands. Seven of Swords. Two of Swords. That talks about opposition. King of Pentacles. The Moon card. Seven of Cups. Ten of Cups. This is going for the Sagittarians that are currently single or they got out of a relationship. If you left the relationship, Sagittarius, if you left this relationship because it was just negative, just because this person is coming back, that doesn't mean that they've seen the light. Because it talks about a person, this whole spread from what I'm feeling, it talks about a person that makes a whole bunch of excuses, a person that lies all the time. And... Sagittarius, this is not an energy that you need. Six of Wands in reverse. This person preach, 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 preach. This person makes it seem like they've changed. They're better people. I'm not that type of person, but they are, okay? And not only that, if you're not seeing action, Two of Swords talks about opposition, Seven of Swords. If you're not seeing action, if you're not seeing a payoff, walk away. Like, nope, try again, sir. Try again. And this person is going to offer you, like, you know, love, commitment, all this good stuff that you want. But, mm, I don't know. Should I trust you? They need to prove themselves to you, Sagittarius. Really, honestly, they, they need to. And for Sagittarius men your woman or your partner going through craziness in regards to their friendships, in regards to things going on around them, and you're more so like, you're really going to trust that person? You're really going to just let them come back in your life and it's okay? I feel like Sagittarius men are watching their women or watching their family members take back bad relationships and bad people. And Sagittarius men are going to step in like, no, this is not okay. Like, this is stupid. Whereas 
Sagittarius women, you're, you're dealing with men coming back in your life. And it's just more so of, should I really trust you? It hasn't really been that long and you're making it seem like you've changed, you've changed overnight when you did it. Okay? Should I even trust you? Should I believe anything that you have to say? You got the moon card. So more than likely, you're right to be questioning these emotions and you're right to be questioning the confusion that you're feeling. Seven of cups in reverse. So... Nah, you know what's up. You know what's good. Ten of swords, that's you. If you choose to take this person back. Okay? You're already on the right track. This person's calling you, messaging you, or it's about to happen. This is for the Sagittarius that are walking away from relationships, okay? I'm not see I'm it's not me it's not everybody's situation is different. So general readings it helps you pinpoint what resonates with you the most because I could say something that doesn't resonate with you but then the next thing I say it resonates with you that's why general readings are general whereas a personal reading is more it's about you so hence why if you want a personal reading the link is down below but I am seeing a lot of um Sagittarius just like mm, I don't trust you there is nothing about you that is aware or awake there is nothing about you that is cautious. There is nothing about you that is um, speaking to my soul that you're a better person. No. I think you still need some work. Now, Sagittarius, this does, Sagittarius women, in regard, in, Sagittarius women especially, this does not mean you do not love this person. It's just more so of you got some work to do. You need to prove yourself to me. Prove it. I'm not, mm-mm. Nope. Mm -mm. You have a good day. You have a good day. That's what I'm feeling for Sagittarius. Like, just like, no, no, we're not doing this. Figure it out, okay? Because I'm going to bed. Figure it out. Because you're not going to come into my life acting like you're good, but then you're going to switch, and now I'm crying, and now I'm upset, and now I'm the idiot. No, no. Get it together. Come back into my life when you're ready to be honest. Not saying, oh, I've changed. Here's some... Guys, I feel like flowers, balloon, cake. I feel like none of that is making you guys bend. I feel like all of that is just fluff to you right now. Like, just... Okay. I feel like if he brings you flowers, you're just going to throw it in the garbage. Just like, I don't need no damn flowers. Flowers die. Okay? How about your word? How about what you tell me? How about are you making this change? Because if I don't see that... I gotta go. I need my peace. My peace matters. This does not mean you do not love this man because I feel like a lot of you guys still have emotional attachment to this person. It's just more so of, nope, I don't trust you. And when a Sagittarius don't trust you guys, they don't trust you. Okay? That I am definitely seeing. So we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So a lot of you guys are focused on your money, focusing on manifesting and growing what's yours. A lot of you guys are just focused on money right now. Okay, not negative energy. The star card, beautiful energy. Eight of wands, everything moving rel relatively quickly. You guys are about to um get what you guys are asking for. Two of pentacles in reverse. So this dispute around money is going to come to an end soon. The emperor card. So um this dispute around money is going to come to an end. Beautiful. beautiful okay a lot of you guys will be able to pay off debt or this this heavy load of waiting for news waiting for answers is about to be um, released a lot of you guys are focused on paying off debt actually Knight of Pentacles. Yep, a lot of you guys are focused on paying off debt. Okay, yeah. New beginnings though, so that's actually an amazing thing. Two of Cups. So, yeah, they need to prove themselves to you, Sagittarius. I don't feel like you guys are just going to take them back like that. They have to prove themselves to you. I'm seeing that very heavy in your reading. Anything else that Sagittarius you can pay attention to? Friendships, really. That goes for friendships, too, guys. Like, not everything is about boyfriend, girlfriend. That can go for friendships and for single people, too. 
do I trust you? You're texting me out of nowhere. I haven't heard from you in God knows how long. Now all of a sudden you're texting me? For what? Where were you for all those months that you weren't texting me? Now you want to be my friend all of a sudden? Nah, you can go. Figure it out. Prove it to me. Because I really don't trust you. That's, that's Sagittarius vibe right now. Just like, mm -mm, I don't trust it. The temptation is coming through. So, yeah, a lot of you guys are dealing with exes coming back. Yeah. Some of you guys might have casual sex with these people, but that doesn't mean you guys trust them. That's a true Sagittarius. Because I, I will say this. When Sagittarius want to be detached, you guys can be detached. You guys could end up being the players. Not really necessarily not really necessarily the person playing you. You guys could switch and do the exact same shit they're doing to you. And not lose sleep. You know? If y'all wanted to. Some of you some of y'all are not willing to tap into that energy. Sagittarian savages, okay? If you want to cheat on me, I'm gonna cheat on you. Now what? That doesn't mean that all Sagittarius do that, but they can if they wanted to, okay? They can. Some of them choose not to, but that doesn't mean they don't know how to. Ha! Am I right or am I wrong? Like, y'all can leave a comment and be like, oh, no, I'm not like that. I feel like Sagittarius got game. Like, I don't care what anybody tells me. I feel like Sagittarius got game, and if they wanted to, they could break hearts left and right. I've had Sagittarius women, they, like, they will leave those men on read. Like, they, and the men behave like women. Like, oh, you don't call me anymore, da 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 Like, behave like women in distress when a man is acting crazy. Like, I've seen Sagittarius women, they're the man in regards to the one that's, like, doing what they want to do. Like, like a Rihanna vibe, if anything. It's just savages. They don't care. And I'm just looking at it like, whoa, you said that? Sure I did. <laughs> So I do appreciate Sagittarius and their strength and just, they're bold. Gotta love that. Yeah, guys, um, don't trust this person coming back. They haven't made any damn changes. Don't, don't trust this damn person. Fulfillment of wishes. A lot of you guys are finally about to get that payoff, that money, that answer you've been waiting for. And it's going to be good news. Firm foundation, positive movement forward. Beautiful. So, what is the angel message? What is the angel message? What is the angel message for Sagittarius in the month of September? Gifts from God. Divine order. Yep, you guys are about to get what you guys are asking for. Divine order. Gifts from God. You guys are about to win. And pay attention to emotions and things that happen around you. These cards are beautiful. Divine order. Divine order. You guys are about to win. Anyway, guys, that is what I got for Sagittarius in the month of September. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think. I love this energy around you guys. I do feel like you guys are about to get it. You guys are about to win. You guys are about to basically keep that man on read. I love this energy. So thank y'all again for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.